Hello and welcome to the new video on Dialogues Evo. This time we're going to learn how to find, insert and place luminaires. Now let us add some light into our project. Here we have the luminaire which I have used at last. I can insert it simply by using drag and drop. I always have of course the choice of modifying the luminaire regarding its positioning, its rotation, I can modify the vertical position. And if I look at it on the left side, I can see suspension length, light center height relative to the work plane and the mounting height. Each of those can be modified manually as well. Below you have the photometric data, which can sometimes give you the option to change between two or more different fittings, in this example, to reflect the option of 3 and almost 4000 Kelvin as the light color temperature. In the last line, you can modify the constant light regulation, which only has an effect on the calculation of the energy consumption. Now, you would typically not insert only one light. So, let's now have a look how to insert other lights. Therefore, we offer you here different choices on how to arrange luminaires. One which is very helpful is the automatic arrangement for spaces. Let's therefore find a luminaire suitable for this garage. So I could either use one of the luminaires which I used during my last projects, one of my favorites, or one of the catalogs. With a click on the right, I have the choice to start a luminaire catalog online or install, depending if that manufacturer is giving you this option. But most of all, you'll be finding Loom Search here and also implemented in the list of additional catalogs, which I probably like to download. And you will be finding the list of all the different manufacturers here ready for download. But now let me have a look at Loom Search, which is not only embedded here, but which is also available independent from Dialogs Evo as a search engine. I would like to find a suitable indoor luminaire out of the selection of almost 400,000 currently. Indoor, pendant, I don't want to define the light distribution in this place, so I would be moving on to these 75,000 results. I'm searching for an illuminant where the lamp flux of 6,000 to 15,000 lumens. Then, with the light distribution, which should be direct and indirect at the same time. I may define shape dimensions, adjustability, light colors as well. Or I can use the selection of manufacturers. There's a real large selection out of our 200 manufacturers. So if I want to pick one for our example, I may do it by clicking on the manufacturer's name. So now let me pick one manufacturer for our example case and choose one of his luminaires. Wherever I have this DX icon, I can immediately transfer it to Dialogs Evo. Back into Dialogs, I would like to use the automatic arrangement and select this room. Dialogs Evo makes a first proposal based on uniformity and they can see this remark that the result is insufficient according to the target value. So I just click onto the eliminance icon and the computer will offer me a higher number that will meet the target value. And like before, I have the options to modify the positioning. Of course, suspension length is different for the different luminaires as we have a pitched roof. So I could either define the suspension length to 500 millimeters and accept different mounting heights or redefine the mounting height. Then we shall have a look at other options 
how to handle luminaries. Therefore, I would like to concentrate on this office. Office. And let me please insert one luminaire out of catalog. Catalog, Artemide, for example. Each catalog is slightly different. So you always have to check if you want to search something, for example, for a table. And pictures can be very helpful too. So let me pick one of these luminaires here and insert it into the project. Like we did at the beginning, a luminaire can be inserted by drag and drop and will be placed either on the wall or table, depending on the way it has been designed. A luminaire will then be rotated. Let me now activate the direct visualization of light. I can rotate the entire luminaire, but with luminaires having this small icon here, I have also an option to modify parts of the luminaire. Depending on the type of model, I have one, two or three nodes which can be used to modify the positioning of the luminaire. Beyond using offline catalogs like we've just done, we can also use online catalogs. Online catalogs like LoomSearch or online catalogs prepared by the manufacturers. I would like to find a luminaire to be installed above the reception to illuminate the wall behind. I'm looking for a wall washer. It should be strong. And then I can insert it after selecting that luminaire and clicking on the iDrop Dialogs iDrop data. It should be there in a second. Now I will be using the line arrangement. So I'm defining the first and the last point along which I want to insert those luminaires. To verify whether they have the correct orientation, I may like to use the visualization of light distribution curves. Currently, they're all pointing towards the right side. So let me now use the rotation button to modify the orientation just like I need it. Here I can update the quantity. And as we have inserted a false seating here, I am very sure that they automatically placed correctly. Now let's have a look at this project with the lights turned on.